Galaxy S4 design and photos get leaked. Motorola X Phone hardware gets leaked along with a new name. And Google Pen's a way for you to control your smartphone from its back. I'm Jaime Rivera, and on my book, smartphones are the ones that are actually capable of delivering you food. And this is Pocket Now Daily. So if the BlackBerry Z10 is on your wish list, AT&T has just confirmed their launch details. It's going to be available on retail as soon as March 22nd, but if you want to play it safe, you can pre-order it on March 12th, and it'll retail for the usual 200 bucks after a two-year contract, even though we're kind of wondering how big is this launch going to be if, well, the Z10 has done well in some parts of Europe, but not really that great so far. Now let's continue talking about Nokia. A new leaked internal document confirms that the company is still worried about their Windows Phone strategy. Apparently, according to the document, it states that if Microsoft loses interest in the operating system or kills the operating system altogether as they've done in the past, well, Nokia's smartphone strategy pretty much goes down the drain. But the most interesting part about the document is the fact that the officials within Nokia are stating that obviously if Microsoft would ever come out with a Surface Phone, they would become a competitor. And it's just interesting because all of of us thought that that Surface Phone, if ever, would be built by Nokia, so stay tuned for the rumors. Now let's move over to Motorola. And yeah, that's that company that builds cell phones, you know, the one that actually invented the cell phone and that was bought by Motorola and that people sadly don't care about anymore. Well, we've been waiting for their X phone for the longest time and, well, we don't have any images of the phone yet, but we do have a leaked banner now that talks about the Motorola Next as an NXT. And though we don't know if that Next could be that it's the X phone and that's the next best thing as part of the marketing campaign. Now, the images of the phone are kind of blurry. It's hard to tell if this is really the phone, but though stay tuned, we have some links in the description for the full specifications. This device does bring some ironies. Apparently, the chipset will not support CDMA. And we know that Motorola and the Droid branding are pretty much one thing. Stay tuned. And yeah, let's continue talking about the parent company of Motorola, which is Google. They've just filed a new patent that allows you to control your smartphone both with the display and also with the back. Now, this patent is not new. We've seen it before for years. A lot of companies have filed this as a new technology that they want to bring, but sadly, we still have not seen it. We've seen it in some game controllers out there, but not really in a smartphone. So it's just interesting to see if Google will probably figure it out. Stay tuned. The next Nexus device could be the thing. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we finally, finally have some leaked photos of the Galaxy S4 and uh, it looks a lot like the Galaxy S3. If you look at it though, apparently the display is obviously a little bigger, but it seems like a Galaxy S3 almost everywhere. The back looks a lot like the Galaxy Note 2 with that speaker grill at the bottom, but still, a lot of people are already disappointed about the fact that there's just an iteration of the old device, but uh, that leads me to the question of the day. Do you like this phone in the leaked renders? Do you believe that this is the Galaxy S4? In my particular case, well, just how much can Samsung invent the wheel? I like the design of the Galaxy S3, but I don't know about you, so leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Ah, the Galaxy S4. This is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, and it's also one of Samsung's best kept secrets. We've been trying to find leaks of this device for the longest time, and still we don't have much to talk about. So join us on Thursday, March 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, as we will have a full hangout happening live. We will also have Brandon Miniman and Michael Fisher at the event, and Adam Lane will also be at Times Square, New York City, covering everything that happens live. So join us again on our YouTube channel. You will see links on our website as soon as this happens. So see you there.